are good looking. If you are looking for a workout that is under 25 minutes, gets the heart rate up, uses a booty band, trains the tush like you wouldn't believe, then you're in the right spot. Hey, listen, this is my booty band to bat a workout, and you want to stay to the very end because I have a super duper special glute finisher that we're going to do. Now, if you haven't already, and if you are over 40, and if you're a woman, we were made for each other. Hey, if you haven't, subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell, because I would love to give you more workouts suitable for the over 40 bod. Deal? Awesome. Grab your booty band, let's go get warmed up. Hello there. Hey, welcome. I'm PJ from fitnesswithpj.com and I train women over the age of 40 who want to reclaim the tush of their 20s. And in this workout, for sure, the tush of their 20s. So listen, we're going to start the warm up. I'll explain about the workout as we start warming up. So just put your booty band off to the side. Let's get the feet wide, so wider than the shoulders. So toes are turned out, drop down into a squat and then drive up and squeeze the tush. Awesome. Hey, listen, if you're new to my workouts, I've been a personal trainer for, well, almost 25 years now, so a long time. Anyways, I love working with women over the age of 40 because, well, I'm over the age of 40, so I'm well aware we have different needs and wants with our workouts, and that's why I started this channel. So this is super awesome to have you. Now, if you're under 40, you are more than welcome. I just need a note from your mom and dad. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking. Four more. Three, two, one more. One. Excellent. Now you're going to go to the side a bit. We want to keep that same stance that we had. This time bend the knees, come down, fingertips to the ground, and drive the booty forward. Good. Do it again. So we want a neutral spine here. This is kind of like a bent knee deadlift. Just warming further into the glutes. Learning how to hip hinge, which is important for future workouts. If you're gonna join me, if we do deadlifts, back is pulled back a bit, shoulder blades pinched together. We're not rounding in the spine. Now the workout today is done traditional Tabata style. So we have one exercise we will do for eight rounds, 20 seconds before we move on to the next exercise. We have four cardio moves all together. And then as I mentioned in the intro, we have a really cool glute finisher we'll do at the end. Two more. Last one, excellent. Crossover lunges, now I want you to step across the midline of the body, drop the knee down to the ground, and then the same leg again. Good job. This knee's gonna track with the ankle somewhat, it might flare out a bit, that's totally cool. If you're encountering knee pain with this, I want you to think about coming straight down instead of allowing this knee to jut past the toe. So pay attention to form on your lunge patterns, maybe do it in front of a mirror if you are encountering any discomfort. Exercise shouldn't hurt. Well, it's gonna burn, right? If the muscles are burning, you're breathless, well, pfft, suck it up. <laughs> but there shouldn't be any joint pain. That's what I'm trying to say. Four more, we'll switch sides. Other side, here we go. Hope you're having a good day as well. If you're not, I'm really sorry to hear that, and I promise you, you will finish this workout with a smile on your face. So there you go. Workouts can really boost a mood. Two more. Last one. Release. All right, find a warm-up drill for what we call your glute meat. All right, I want you to turn your toe into your pigeon toe, and then abduct the leg away from the body. So we don't want to turn the toe up. So if you do other workouts, other than mine, so if you cheat on me, <laughs> and they don't cue you to lead with the heel, I want you to remember this cue. Because if you do this, we're not gonna get the muscle we're trying to train. And I don't know if you saw the difference because my shoes kind of blend into the ground, but I turned my toe up. It makes it easier, but we're not here for easy. We're here to train the right muscle. Last three, two, one, and if you have a hard time with balance, by all means, readjust your body so you're close to something to hold on to. And then eventually I want you to try and let go because balance can be trained just like every other muscle in the body. And we do need to keep that strong as we get older. Woo, this is a no booty band and I'm feeling it. 
<laughs> oh, this is gonna be a fun workout, isn't it? <laughs> four more, four, it will, I promise. Three, two, one, march it down. If you need to grab a sip of water, now is a great time to do it because we have 60 minutes of straight glute work coming up. Our first exercise is a banded jumping jack. I want the band around the ankles. Now, if your band is quite loose, you can bring it up higher to make the intensity more difficult. Never around right around the knee joint, though, so either above or below. We've got eight rounds of this. Not allowing those knees to cave in, so that's where that glute meat comes. If you don't do the jumping, whoo, baby, you just step it out side to side, but keep those arms moving because we want that heart rate to get up there. As mentioned, eight rounds, 20 seconds. We have a 10 second break in between. So before we go any further, I want you to go like this. That's right, wake those babies up because they're gonna start working in three, two, one, go. Round one. Now pay attention, we don't want the knees to cave in. So push the knees out, feel those hip muscles fired up. And then you choose what intensity you want, the high impact or the low impact. Both will get you to where we want to be. Which is toasted. <laughs> Time. Woo -hoo. All right, round one. Let's really hope that I don't lose count. <laughs> Ready for number two? Go. I'm a great trainer. I'm a shitty counter, so just FYI. Holy cow. Whew. It changes things when you time. You do the exact same movement for eight rounds. Maybe keep moving the legs. Yeah, let's keep moving the legs. That feels a little better than being static. Go, number three. Again, you've got that low impact option, but keep those arms, keep those arms. Yes. Before you take that break because maybe that two more means we've made it to the end of the 20 seconds so always think can I do two more can I do two more go I think this is five. <laughs> oh shoot yeah it's five I know I got one job right count <laughs> I'm fired. Oh. Going on to number six. Whew. That's why I told you we gotta slap those guys, wake them up. Go. Number six. Let them know what was coming. A whole lot of pain. <laughs> I feel like I'm really separating my legs, but I know when I edit this video, I'm not. <laughs> I'm gonna be looking at myself going, PJ, but I'm going as hard as I can, and that's all I want from you as well, okay? Woo, try your best, go. That's all we can ask of ourselves. Hell, you showed up. I think that's pretty damn awesome. One more, one more, and then we change up the move. Whether or not that's good news is yet to be determined. Ready, go. Last one of the banded jacks. Woo! Okay, don't go anywhere yet, all right? The fun's just begun. 
high knees. So let's shift that bad to above the knees now. Okay. Now, this is where the band could roll up and get really super irritating. So bear with me, okay? <sighs> bear with me. Now, we've got high knees coming up, so it can be like this, okay? But move those arms, right? Because the arms coordinated with the legs will help drive the heart rate up. Or you can join me, lean back a bit, and drive the knees up. After every set, we probably will have to shift the band down towards our knees a bit more. Okay? Yeah? You good? Excellent. I knew you would be. Here we go. High knees. Round one. Go. Use the arms. Use the arms. Come on. Hup, hup. Woo. This is testing the sports bra. Every workout I seem to test the sports bra. This one's winning. I'm a winning sports bra. Got it. Woo. Woo. So, you're going to start to feel this in the front of the hip now. The glutes are working, but we need to give these guys a bit of a break. Go, number two, high or low impact, but move those arms. Readjust the band if you need to. Again, don't place it right directly on top of the joint, though. Number three. Ready? Go. And you're going to pull apart the band, too, by having the feet about hip width, shoulder width. Okay. Are you starting to feel it now? <laughs> it just all of a sudden hit me. Woo. Done. Oh, yeah. I don't think you're going to like me much during this workout, but that's okay. I'm not here to be your friend right now. Afterwards, go. I want to be your friend. Right now, I'm your trainer. I'm trying to get us some results. I'm trying to get us the touch of our 20s. Or at the very least, the touch of last week. <laughs> Okay, halfway. No problem. No problem. Number five, go. Oh, my band's moving. No, stay down. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Come on. Come on, timer. Time. Oh. All right, we're almost there. Three left, three left. Whew. Readjust that band. Keep your legs apart. If they're together, the band will shift up higher. Go. Number six. Ah, my ass is numb. <laughs> we haven't even done eight minutes yet. Oh, done. <laughs> oh, how is that for motivation 101? <laughs> oh, crap. Sorry, I'll be more motivating. We can do this. Let's go. Number seven. Keep running, but I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Holy moly. Oh. All right. Number eight. You ready? Neither am I, but we're going to do it. Go. Come on, you and I. We got this. No problem. If the tush is getting tired, it's meant to, okay? So just grin and bear it. You are strong. You are tough. Good job. Okay. We're halfway. <laughs> oh, insert evil giggle. Plank jacks are coming up. So I'm going to show you how we're going to do this. High impact, low impact, and then how you would do it if you can't be weight bearing on the arms. Yes? Yes. All right. We get the back down to the ankles, the band back down there. Wrists under shoulders. Screw the ground. So. <laughs> 
That sounded funny. Screw the ground. Sorry. <laughs> Let me explain. All right, pretend I have my hands on the ground. I want you to pretend that you are screwing two jar lids towards the center of your body. That's going to fire up a muscle called the lats as well as the serratus, which is going to help set our shoulders in a better positioning. So I want you to be really strong with that plank. So screw the ground. I'm just going to say that. I'm, I'm going to make a t-shirt out of that. I love that. All right. We have eight rounds of 20 seconds of banded jacks. That's high impact. So I jump out. Low impact, tap side to side. Okay, non weight bearing on the arms, impact. Head up, legs up, <laughs> abs on fire. So, you choose which one's gonna work for you. We have four minutes of work. You ready? Yeah, good. All right, screw the ground <laughs> and go. We want the wrists under the shoulders. Bum is down, nice long plank. Don't lose the form. Jump out as wide as you can, okay? We're tired, it might not be as wide as if we did this as the first move. It's okay, you respect that from your body and just keep going. Die. Woo. All right, number two. Screw the ground, you there? Okay, good. Ready, and go. Be right on top of those wrists, take a look. Done. Okay, I am totally not going to like this one and I'm totally gonna to question my sanity for programming it. My apologies. Go. Done. Oh. Whoo. I'm close to losing form on this one. This is a tough one. If you're struggling, so am I. I feel your pain. Ready? Go. Number four. Again, you can tap out too, okay? Maybe that's what I'm going to do for number four. Tap it out for a bit. Doesn't make it easier by no means. Done. Okay. We're halfway. If you're on your back doing the scissors, okay, your abs are on fire right now. I know it. I've been there. Go, number five. Remember, if you're on your back, keep those hands under the bum. You want to do a pelvic tilt to protect the low back. Time. Oh. <laughs> three left, three left. We got this. Oh. Go. You didn't hear that. Time. Stop. <laughs> Last two. Oh, hallelujah. Go. Oh, come on, PJ. Okay, this is it. Go. Woo. Number eight. Almost there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's finish, let's finish, you guys. Don't drop, don't drop. Come on. It's a few seconds left. Time. Woo. Woo. Yay. If I could high five every single one of you, I would. 
All right, last move, YouTube. Here we go. Booty band is up above the knees. Whew. I'm gonna show high impact and low impact. 180 degree squat jump. What I want you to remember is you are always turning towards me. So you're not doing this 360, you'll always turn towards me. So I'll make sense in a second. Squat, 180 degree jump, squat. Now I'm gonna turn back towards you to get back to where I started. The entire time, my hips are on fire to fight the band from pulling my knees in like that. Okay, I'm being really exaggerated with the motion just so I can prove my point. You want the knees trapping out. If you are like PJ, that's a ridiculous move. I'm not doing that. No problem, I got you covered. You're gonna take yourself, pivot, give me a squat. Squat. So you kind of open up into a 180 non-jump squat. Same cues for you, keep those knees tracking. All right, eight rounds, ready, set, go. Squat, land soft. Use those arms. Done, woo. Oh, I got eight in, I was aiming for 10. I'm pacing myself. How are you doing? Go, number two. Number four, coming up. Go. Again, land soft. I'm kind of landing heavy. I should practice what I preach. <laughs> trying. Trying really hard. Time. Halfway. Did I tell you this is the last one before my special glute finisher? There you go, I've told you. Go. If I haven't, there you go. Now the glute finisher, it's gonna be awesome. So hang in there.
sneak it in. How'd you do at home? Yeah? You rock. Okay. Grab a sip of water. Get yourself down on a mat. Well, why don't we walk it out a little bit here? Heart rates are going a mile a minute. Never mind what I just said. <laughs> if you want booty band off, give your hips a break. <sighs> Ooh. Wow, they just feel all free. <laughs> all right, keep it on one ankle though, because the sucker's got to go back down all around our ankles when we are done. So grab some water, walk it out for a bit, let that heart rate come down. We are finishing off with a two exerciser finisher. Now the first exercise, we're on the ground as mentioned. The second one, we need to be close to something like a wall, a door frame, something for you to hold on to. I don't know, small child, <laughs> just, you need to have some stability for the next one, okay? Okay. Okay, make yourself, um, make your way down. Booty band, it's around just above the knees. Okay, we've got a hip bridge to do, but we're pausing it a bit. So I want you to pause it for like three seconds when we get to the top of the bridge and then lower. So we want feet apart, knees apart, so that you feel the tension on the hips right away. So if your booty band is um, not as tight, you might have to go wider. If it's quite tight, narrow. Arms are robot arms, so we don't push off with the hands. Pull the toes up so we're driving through the heels. You give me that glute squeeze, and then we're going to pause it for three, two, one, and lower, and then do it again. We have two rounds of 30 seconds. So I'll give you a second there to get set up. Booty band is above the knees. Pull the toes up. Heels are close to the bum, so I can't touch them with my fingers, but they're also not too far away. And ready? Oh, come on. Get your shit together. Okay, good. Here we go. Round one. Pull up. Hold it. Three, two, one. And then lower and then drive. Three, two, one. Good. Now, if you don't feel that tension on the booty band for the outer hips, I want you to separate the legs a bit more. So we want to feel that booty band trying to pull the knees in and you're resisting it with the outer hip muscles. And then as we drive up, we're using the glute, okay? Our big powerhouse muscle. Get up nice and tall, release. All right, 10 second break. Now, I know I said we'd do two rounds, but why don't we do three? Let's do three, why not? Ready, go, drive up. And release, so again, is that pause, three seconds. Good, and release. So changing up the intensity by changing the tempo of the movement. Yeah, we gotta do three rounds. We're just starting to feel the glutes. <laughs> Time. All right, one more and then we're standing. Trust me, you'll thank me. You'll thank me when it's done. We might run a little past 25 minutes though, sorry. Ready and go, up. And release. Up, squeeze, come on, get that booty up there. And down, do it again, up. Up. Time. All right, keep the booty band above the knees. Find something stationary to hold on to. I'm gonna change the camera angle and we're gonna move into hip extension. Okay, I'm gonna hold on the bar here. We've got the feet wide so we can feel that resistance already happening. Then I want you to lead with the heel and press the leg back. Now when you press the leg back, don't dip the upper body forward. So you're gonna keep the upper body quiet and drive that heel behind and fire up that booty baby. We've got the same leg, okay? Ready? Two rounds. Go. Press. Press. We're not flinging the leg. We are controlled with this pattern. We can feel the glue fired up as well as on the other leg to stabilize us. Woo! Double glute fun here. This is our last move, time. 
Last move and then you are done. Whew. Okay, same leg again, okay? Two sets of these, ready? Same leg, abs engage, lean forward, press the heel back. So it's kind of back on a slight angle. So you should, like you're making the back part of the um, bottom part of an X. Does that make any sense? I hope so. <laughs> Am I making any sense? Oh, it's the other glute, huh? I know. And it's extra special because we got to work that one now. Done. Woo. All right. Other side. Two rounds of 30 seconds. Abs engaged so we don't feel the low back. Go. You can tell when I'm struggling. <laughs> I shut up. <laughs> oh, I'm really quiet right now. Time, pull, all right. One more and then we'll do some stretches or if you've got to go, you can go, but I hope you can hang with me for some stretches. So I think our glutes need it, go. I think our glutes would be really happy with us if we did a couple of stretches. yourself done and check the workout off your list. Okay, seated. Hands are behind you to support you. Take the right ankle, place it on the top of the thigh, and then walk that left foot towards you oh, until you get the stretch in that right hip and glute. Holy cow, I think I'm going to have nightmares about that plank jacks exercise, that number three one we did. <laughs> you probably won't see that exercise ever again on my channel. Oh, no, you will, just in a while, <laughs> not right away. <laughs> All right, now plant, so you're just gonna drop the legs like so. So now that right foot's on the ground, take the left hand, pull that knee in towards the armpit while the other hand comes behind to help sit yourself up. So now we get more into the glute here. I'm so happy you could hang with me though, well done. So a few things you can do after this workout First is if you enjoyed the workout, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. If you didn't, due to exercise number three, well, there's another thumb you can click. <laughs> and then I'd appreciate a comment because I love hearing from you guys what you thought of the workout, whereabouts in the world are you working out from, and if you hated number three as well. <laughs> Back to center. Oh, yeah. Let's try the other side now, okay? So left ankle crosses over. So the closer this right foot comes to my bum, the more intense the stretch becomes for this left side. So play around with it. And then if you need a workout, or if you're looking for a whole series of workouts, head to my website. I'm gonna put a link down below and there'll be one floating around the screen sometime. But I've got a 21 day uh, workout program for anybody who's looking for it and it's free. I just wanna get women moving. And then if you have done the workouts in the past and this is your, you know, your next visit back where you do this regularly with me, I would love your support on Patreon. For as little as $3 a month, you can help us keep this channel going. So there you go. There's my spiel. I'll shut up now. All right, foot on the ground. Take that right arm, pull it in towards the armpit. Take the other hand behind to help push yourself up and then you're going to twist towards that knee and ah, feel that stretch. Come on up, press yourself up into forward fold for the hamstrings. So feet are hip width, knees are fairly soft, hang here. Roll yourself up vertebrae by vertebrae, and there we go. Give the booty 
a good pat and well done. Hey, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you subscribe to the channel and I hope I get to sweat with you again. Mwah. Woo. <laughs> that was intense. See, I'm tripping. I can't even walk. What the hell?